it's the end of a long day but there's still surprises in store we spoke a lot today about football and football in india and you especially from such a great club atletico madrid uh, how do you expand your club in an emerging market like india well for example here in india we did um, already a partnership with atletico calcutta in the past which now we are foreseeing how we are going to continue with it and at the same time we are now exploring a lot of options on football academies here especially working with the small kids uh, it is of paramount importance for Atletico Madrid to really make the difference and try to put a legacy in the market and obviously on top of, of that we are partnering with with your company with Hero Motor Corp yeah. they are our sponsor in Latin America so far and they have the image of our coach of Simeone uh, and they are also helping us here in India and in, and, and in Latin America quite a lot and we foresee to, to really strengthen the ties with your country in the in the coming years. So Indian fans, there are a number of other clubs like uh, your city rivals, Real Madrid or Barcelona, that they generally support. How, how do you try to plan to get Atletico more fans in India? Because it's an established already, it's Madrid, Barca, Valencia, but next to the Atletico for sure. Well, we, we already did something different to them, which is yeah. coming to the country and investing in one of the clubs. Yeah and introducing the Atletico Madrid model and making them champion twice. Uh, this is what we really want when we enter into a market. It's not only putting the brand and trying to, to get money from that yeah. market, but uh, trying to impose a model or propose a model and the way we work in Atletico Madrid and trying to, to create a legacy within the, within the country. Uh, I think if you start with the, with the children, if you start with the, with the people that are starting to play sports, uh, there is a possibility that we manage to get this legacy and to and to establish well here in this country. Are there any plans maybe of the Atletico team in the off season traveling to India to play a game maybe in the in the future in the next few years is there is that in the works? Yeah, of course. That, that's a possibility. We are uh, well, it's breaking news, but we are coming to Asia oh, in, wow. in the next summer for sure. Uh, and India is one of our key markets and and something that we are foreseeing also in the in the future in the coming I would say between the, probably in the four or five coming years, there is a possibility to come here to play. And my last question, if you don't mind me asking, uh, regarding the uh, ATK deal, Atletico de Kolkata, and right now the deal's off. Uh, do you mind telling us what went wrong, maybe, or why the deal is off right now? Like you mentioned at the top that yes. it, it's still in progress, maybe in the future, but if you mind sharing, then. Well, <laughs> yes. No, um, what we realized, what we wanted with, to do with the club to, was to really create an, uh, a model mm. on the way we work and the way we we manage a team and this is I think what we did for the last three years yeah. and they were extremely successful uh, we wanted to keep on doing that to keep on proposing and imposing the way we work and for different reasons that was uh, not possible uh, and then we think it's much better if someone if they uh, want to manage the club in another way then, mm. then then we are fine with that we fully respect that and then what we want now is to is to to try to make another way of, of uh, staying and establishing the country more through academies and, and children thank you uh, it was great talking to you and uh, all the best to your club for the rest thanks. of the season and have a great thanks. time here. thanks